Welcome back to Intest channel. Today, we are showing you exactly how to certify CAT6 structure cabling using Fluke DSX cable tester. Whether you are a seasoned engineer or just starting up in our data cabling industry, this is your step-by-step -step guide and will help you get professional grade results every time. Let's go for it. Proper certification ensures your cabling meets industry standards, prevents future network issues, and protects your warranty. For CAT6A cables, that means testing your next return loss, propagation delay, and many more factors. Fluke DSX is the gold standard tool for this job. Here is what you will need. The Fluke DSX 8000 or 5000 series tester, permanent link adapter or channel adapters, and properly labeled cables, and test labels. So first, let's power on your tester and select the TIA category 6A permanent link test. Or the required standard for your job, you may want to check that in your specification. In our case, we will navigate to test setup, cable type and CAT 6A, in our case SFTP, and we will set our limit to TIA CAT 6A permanent link. Now let's connect the DSX tester. Main unit goes to the patch panel. Remote unit to the outlet in the field. Make sure your connectors are clean and correctly seated. Dirty pins can fail your test unnecessarily. Then press the test button and DSX will run full suite of checks. These include wire next, which means near end crosstalk, return loss, insertion loss, propagation delay, and other critical parameters. In just a couple of seconds, you'll get pass or fail. Once the test is completed, save your results. We recommend organizing it by floor and outlet ID. You can use Linkware software to generate professional PDF reports. These are critical for client handover and future reference. You can use cloud or desktop version. Now be aware. There are a few common issues you ought to avoid. Firstly, improper termination. You may want to watch your twist rate and make sure the twists are as close to the outlet or the keystone module as possible. Second is a long keystone access cable. In your keystone, you want to ideally use flush cutters rather than side cutters to cut the access cable. And of course, wrong test limits. Double check you are testing to CAT 6A, not CAT 6. At Intest UK, we see these errors all the time. On site, we're called to troubleshoot. I hope you found this video useful. Give us a like and subscribe. For more help with network certification, structure cabling or troubleshooting, contact us at Intest UK. We're always happy to assist. And don't forget, at Intest UK, we are also certified installers of many manufacturers, so we can help with existing installation or run a new one for you.